Today I'm working on Super 8 film. It's um, recorded in 1970, Christmas home footage. It's going to be exciting. After I bring the film in, I splice it up with the cutting tool in Premiere Pro. And that allows me more flexibility to adjust each scene for light imbalances, exposure, color, and I can control all of that. I had to uh, utilize all of Adobe's Creative Suite, uh, Premiere Pro, and After Effects and Photoshop. Then I apply a LUT to give it a little more cinematic feel. Uh, better blues, better yellows, I adjust the red to the white, uh, HSL secondary is pretty important to get even more accurate colors when things become blown out, washed out, very important, and it's just adjusting the stabilization of film, cleaning out really noticeable dirts here and there, and all these old films, Super 8, 8mm, they didn't have sound, unless you were lucky to have a recording strip with sound, you wouldn't hear that. So by adding these sounds back in, you're you're making it feel a little more real, a little more tangible, you're you're closer to the moment, and it, it adds a sense of realism. Here uh, you have a small scene. You're not just slapping music on and calling it a day. By doing this, you're making the movie feel lived in and you're there. Kids are opening up a Bozo the Clown Mattel toy, which is actually a really popular toy. And you're able to go in, you're able to find someone pulling the string re-record that audio, place it there, so it's the actual toy talking in the video. A any kind of sound you can imagine was re-recorded. Clanking metal, silverware, plates, dishes, water, eating, sitting up and down, walking, all those sounds are re-recorded for this. That's just a lot of time. Um, Dust and Scratches doesn't do as great of a job, and uh, no denoising is applied. I decided not to do denoising because it uh, takes away some of the natural elements in the film. Of what you're doing inside here is to refurbish this film, to make it as accurate as possible to what it was recorded in 1970.